To commission the actuator, we firstly need to remove the service cover with the Torx T10 key and locate the commissioning deep switches 1 to 9, which are by default in the off position. To activate the desired function, they need to be put in the on position. With Deep Switch 1, we can choose between two modes of operations, the fast or slow mode. When the deep switch is in the off position, then the actuator will move with a speed of 2 seconds per millimeter. Therefore, you will have a faster responding valve. When the deep switch is in the on position, then the actuator will go into slow mode and move with 6 seconds per millimeter speed. Therefore, you will have a slower responding valve. With Deep Switch 2, the actuator has the possibility of operating with up-to-close or down-to-close valves. When the Deep Switch is in the off position, it enables direct acting of the actuator towards the Y control signal. A 10-volt 20 milliamp signal from the controller will send the actuator towards its maximum retracted or up position, and a 0-volt 0 milliamp signal will send the actuator towards its maximum extended or down position. That essentially means that when the deep switch is in the off position, the actuator will close the up-to-close valve with a 10-volt signal and fully open it with a 0-volt signal. When the deep switch 2 is in the on position, the inverse acting of the actuator towards the Y control signal is enabled. A 10-volt 20 milliamp signal from the controller will send the actuator towards its maximum extended or down position and a 0 volt, 0 milliamp signal will send the actuator towards its maximum retracted or up position. That means that when the deep switch is in the on position, the actuator will close the down to close valve with a 10 volt signal and fully open it with a 0 volt signal. With deep switch 3, we can select the range of the Y control signal to which the actuator will react and adjust it in combination with Deep Switch 8, where the control signal type is selected. If Deep Switch 3 is set to the off position, then the actuator will adjust and react to a 2 to 10 volt or 4 to 20 milliamp Y control signal. By doing that, we also set the X output signal from the actuator to controller to the range of 2 to 10 volts or 4 to 20 milliamps. If Deep Switch 3 is set to the on position, then the actuator will adjust and react to a 0 to 10 volt and 0 to 20 milliamp Y control signal. By doing that, we also set the X output signal from the actuator to controller to the range of 0 to 10 volts or 0 to 20 milliamps. Deep switch 4 is setting linear or modified actuator characteristics towards the Y control signal. In the off position, we set the linear correlation between the Y control signal and actuator stem position, while in the on position, this correlation can be modified with additional potentiometer CM. If we turn the CM potentiometer clockwise, we get equal percentage correlation between the Y control signal and actuator stem position. If we turn the CM counterclockwise, then the correlation is going to be a quick opening. This gives an opportunity to set desired characteristics that enable the best heat transfer through the heat exchanger and optimizes application performance. With Deep Switch 5, the stroke limitation functionality is applied. Each actuator has a mechanical maximum retracted and maximum extended end position that determines the maximum stroke of the actuator. With Deep Switch 5 in the on position, we can set a new maximum retracted and extended position for the actuator and therefore manipulate with a valve operating stroke as well. By pressing the positioning buttons, we set the valve's up position according to our needs. To finalize, we press the reset button for 5 seconds. This function is very useful in order to limit the flow of the valve and therefore reduce the oversizing effect and prevent overflow in the application. To set the valve's down position according to our needs, we press the positioning buttons and finalize by pressing the reset button for 5 seconds. This function is very useful to assure that the valve will never close in the application where a minimum flow is needed. The valve will now only open and close to the set positions.
With Deep Switch 6, we can select the actuator's output signal mode on terminals 4 and 5. By default, the switch is in a constant mode. That means terminals 4 and 5 will be constantly active in accordance to the settings on the potentiometers S4 and S5. By turning S4 clockwise, we increase the activation set point. By turning counterclockwise, we decrease it. By turning S5 clockwise, we increase the activation set point. By turning it counterclockwise, we decrease it. Terminal 4 is active when the actuator's position is equal to or lower than the potentiometer S4 set point. Terminal 5 is active when the actuator's position is equal to or higher than the potentiometer S5 set point. Constant mode enables the actuator to start other components in the application, like pumps, in accordance with the valve's opening degree. For instance, the actuator will start a pump when the valve is opened more than 5%. When the deep switch 6 is in the on position, the pulse mode is active. That means terminals 4 and 5 will be active, not constantly, but they will give out voltage pulses in accordance to the settings of the potentiometers S4 and S5. By turning S4 clockwise, we increase the activation set point. By turning it counterclockwise, we decrease it. By turning S5 clockwise, we increase the activation set point. By turning it counterclockwise, we decrease it. Terminal 4 will be active when the actuator's position is equal to or lower than the potentiometer S4 set point. Terminal 5 will be active when the actuator's position is equal to or higher than the potentiometer S5 set point. Pulse mode enables the actuator to start other components in the application, like other actuators, in accordance with the valve's opening degree. For instance, the actuator will give a signal to another actuator to open only when the valve is opened more than 70%. Deep Switch 7 enables a smart function for better control performance and is by default in the off position. When the Y control signal is oscillating, the actuator will not adjust itself and therefore the valve will be opening and closing according to oscillations. If turned to ON, a special anti-oscillation algorithm is activated. When the Y control signal oscillates, the actuator's smart algorithm starts to detect oscillations and lowers the amplification of the actuator in the control loop. This results in more stable regulation and temperature conditions, as the actuator helps the controller find the optimum opening position and stops hunting for it. In that way, the oscillations in temperature are decreased. Deep Switch 8 determines if the actuator will work in accordance with the voltage or current Y control signal. By default, the Deep Switch 8 is in the OFF position, which means that the actuator will work with the voltage Y control signal. In the ON position, the actuator will work with the current Y control signal. Deep Switch 9 determines if the actuator's X output position signal to the controller will be as a voltage or current signal. By default, it is in the OFF position, which means that the actuator will give voltage X position signal output. In the ON position, the actuator will give current X position signal output. AME Connect is a new and special Android and iOS application designed to make the commissioning of our actuators easier. Connected to actuators via an additional Bluetooth module, the application allows you to see current operational conditions like supply voltage, input and output signals, as well as the position of the actuator. You can perform diagnostics on the actuators, alarms, errors and trends, and even perform a manual override. It allows you to run a self-calibration procedure set the stroke limitation, get an overview of the current pre-settings supported by instructions, and, if necessary, send a report via email. All that functionality makes the commissioning of our actuators easier than ever before.